Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found a ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue faience? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. I will get the ritual item first, and then hunt down the birds. An abandoned tomb. The maidservant said there was a shop here. Strange place for a shop. Welcome to my humble shop. A Magi? How? I have not seen your kind in some time, Magi. We are a rare breed. As are merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course. I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. Mm. A thing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Uh, she is hiding something. of uncommon value? The merchant did not want me to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased. I will take a few feathers for Tamhotep's ritual. That is all the items. Now to meet Tamhotep on the road to the pyramids. I found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. <laughs> this is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. Oh, Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. Good idea. Whoa. 
We are here. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. But has blessing on you. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me. For I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. Sit with me. Would you accept me as a traveling companion? I will take a new title. How about Tutmose the Fearsome? I travel alone. Oh, of course. Have you heard about the palace? Crocodiles swarm its halls. Terrible. So many deaths. I am hired to slaughter the beasts, but someone is pouring blood into the water to frenzy them. And you want my help? Oh, yes, yes. You will shrug off a crocodile's jaws as most men would a gnat's. Kill crocodiles near the palace and I will award you half my fee. What do you say, Magi? I am good at killing crocodiles. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Medjai the mighty, Medjai the majestic, Medjai the... Mm, never mind. There is a hidden cave near the city's northern limit. Meet me there tonight. What? Cave rhymes with brave. Miss that one. I see you there. Huh? Ah, neck. The crocodile god himself would cause less chaos. They are far more aggressive than usual. Pile of dead crocodiles should be high enough to please Tutmose. I'll crocodile. Ah, oh no, he's rubbing off on me. Oh. I am still missing a clue, Medjai the True. Come back tonight. You have an easy life. Yes, go from place to place, see the world. I would not. The palace grounds are choked with Sobek's dead. Did you see? In the pool, human body parts used to lure the crocodiles. Oh, what horror! 
But why? Oh, who knows why evildoers do evil? I came just in time to see two people loading bodies onto boats and riding away. I will put a stop to this mischief. Of course you will. And as your loyal companion, I will point you toward the mischief makers. One went toward the palace and the other was headed for the mummification temple. Here is half my pay, as promised. I will meet you back at my boat. On second thought, Tutmose the fearsome isn't quite right. How about Tutmose the ferocious? Better, yes? She is dumping body parts into the river to attract the crocodiles. Sobek's children will be more peaceful now. Bread for your sweetheart? No. Thank you. Why do you speak a curse under your breath? The magician who sold it to me said I must recite it 200 times a day. Since I cannot recite while I sleep, I do it while I work. Though it is hard to get any baking done without my taster. What happened to your taster? Gods bless the regime. They arrested him for not paying the tax on spices. And now I am out of cinnamon. Looks like you need more than a magician. The regime presses even a poor baker so hard. Helping her would be a strike against Ptolemy, however small. Could that and her bread smells delicious. Taster? Yes. I am he. Teta, the baker, asked me to bring you to her. My beautiful Teta. Now I can see her face again before I die. I am weak with hunger and with love. Will you carry me to Teta? If I must. Can you walk? I am too weak even to stand. Really? My strength comes from the beautiful Teta. Does she know you feel this way about her? I have not yet been brave enough to confess my love for her. <coughs> also, I am a wanted man. I can see that. You did not pay your taxes. It has nothing to do with taxes. I'll tell you everything when we get back to Teta. Teta, beautiful Teta. Her face is like the sun. Teta, my love, I am coming to you. Hurry, not much further until I can see my love again. Teta. Beautiful Teta. Her face is like the sun. Teta, my love, I am coming to you. Teta! You brought back my Teta! This man has something to tell you. Well? Teta, I love you. What? And I uncovered a plot to poison the Lady Timehotep, beloved of the High Priest. What? What? 
Lady Timehotep loves our cakes and bread. For five years, we have delivered them to the Great Temple. But yesterday, I overheard the guard say that this week's cakes had been poisoned. Have they been delivered? I... I don't know. They'd be in the garrison if not. Then I will have to move quickly. This is all too much for me. Would you like to sit down? No. I need to think. Of course, love. Hurry. Basket of cakes. I got here in time. Now to make sure they will not. Hate <laughs> this! That is the last of the cakes. Tamhotep is safe now. Ready to speak of my dream. Of course, Deliverer. But first, you must help me. How? I have visions of danger. A dark cloud looms over three heads. An adventurer, a philanderer, and a beggar are all at risk. What would I do for them? Give each an amulet to guard against the darkness. One may be found near the great temple. One in its eastern district, and one in the tunnels that wind below it. I'll wait for you by the docks at the basin of the great temple. Quite the fighter. I do my best. They caught me off guard the first time. The seer offers this amulet to keep you from further harm. My children cannot eat a stone. I cannot do more for you than this. May your luck change course. Pardon my rudeness. You have already risked yourself to save me. As long as I am alive, my family still has a chance. Come too late to save this one. Divine ones, circle around him. May this amulet preserve his car. I have nothing to reward you with except my thanks. I will claim my reward elsewhere. The seer sends this amulet. His visions show you are in need of protection. Why would I need this piece of junk? Just take it so we can conclude our business. Fine. I suppose wearing it will make my mother happy. That is all three amulets given out. Now to return to the seer.
Have you delivered the amulets? Yes. One arrived too late to protect its bearer. Which? The adventurer. He met a lonely end, bitten by a snake. This is sad news. All the same, I consider your debt paid. A sacred island lies farther in the embrace of Mother Nile. Bring me there, and I will tear aside the curtain that shrouds your nightmares. Now, oh, deliver. Tell me what you saw. I saw... I saw what has lain behind my eyes every night for the past year. It begins with a sandstorm. I rise to my feet and walk a corridor of ruins passing into the Hall of Judgment. There. What were we speaking of? There. A twin of myself places a black stone heart into the scales of my art. It is then that the god snake strikes. Apep. Larger than a mountain. Larger than reason. A bow of light appears in my hands. I fight the snake and win. Though, not without injury. Then I rise through dark, choking waters. To... Deliverer, would you be free of the curse that plagues your sleep? There is a ritual that will banish it from your mind forever. Yes. Do it then. Go beneath the waters south of here. And bring up the statue of Gnome from the sunken temple of Ramses. With this likeness of the great potter to hand, the ritual can be performed. Here is the statue. Hnum, sculptor of children. He will battle Apep in your place. This ritual needs your mind's strength. Sit by my side and meditate as I speak with the gods. Oh, oh light! is gone. How did he leave the island? The farther you run, the worse it will go between us. Did you bring me here to get rid of these bandits? Sure did. I'm extremely smart. Everyone says so. How did a smart boy like you get tricked into working for bandits? I don't work for them. This mean old lady locked up a bunch of us kids. She makes us steal for her. Locked up? Yeah. My sister was going to save us. And she said to meet her in the shipyard by the river. But she never came. Will you look for her? I'll steal you an apple. <laughs> hey, you don't need to buy my help. It is yours for free. What is your sister's name? Kowit. 
And mine's Ifri. If you find Khawit, tell her I'm mad at her. That ship will not sail anytime soon. Ah, the ship was dry docked when it caught fire. Traces of oil. Hmm. Seller. Keep your distance, or I'll break your face. Easy now. Did you see a young girl around the shipyard yesterday? I see lots of girls. Most not worth looking at twice. They would likely say the same of you. If it is information you want, you have just tripled its price. I'd rather throw my coin pouch in the river. An oil seller. You may have seen Kawit. Kept the children caged. There's the mast from the burnt ship. Colorful sail. Unusual. Back off, I must be another way to make him talk. Just do not break anything else. By the limbs of Osiris, you are a cruel man. What happened with the girl? I looked at her twice. The second time, she was stealing my biggest jar of oil. She vanished like a demon in daylight. When I came back, the ruffians were destroying my stock. May the lot of you sink to the bottom of the Nile. I think I understand what happened here. Gawid stole an oil jar from that oaf of a merchant, then hid until nightfall. Under cover of darkness, she spread oil on the ship and set it aflame. The blaze spread to the whole vessel. While the ship burned, Gawid freed the children held on the docks, but the bandits must have caught her. Whoever owns this ship was responsible for the kidnappings. Your brother sent me here. Where is Kawit? They took her and everyone else to a house in the city. Some rich lady named Gaia owns it. It's by the temple of Hafor. Will you save my family? By the mother goddess, I will. No, young Ifri did. Where is he? What do you mean? I followed you the whole way. Take Matia home. Go. <laughs> Why don't you go with them? I'm going to track down that Roman bitch who did this to my family. If you want to help me kill her, meet me at the house of Neff. to kill in front of the little ones. What happened here? <laughs> Who was he? Neff. The children called him father. This is his house. This is his house! You are injured. 
I don't give a shit. The Roman hag who did this leaves by boat for Alexandria today. Help me feed her to the crocodiles one piece at a time. I can go alone. No need for you to bloody yourself, father. It has to be me. Is your need worth leaving the children unprotected? Destroy her name, Bayek of Siwa. I need to move quickly, or this monster will flee Memphis. Senu can find a ship with colored sails faster than I can. I cannot wait to wring the neck of that wretched girl, Kawit. Can we turn the ship a little to one side? The sun is in my... This room, this is where my quest began. Someone has taken great care of this chamber. My life was undone here, yet now there's a shrine, a memorial where none should be. Could this be for Ruchek? None could care for that snake that began this twisted quest, could they? Someone has sealed this room. This a mummified heron. A resurrection. No. Whoever did this must have known of Rudjek's place in the Order. Rudjek does not deserve a tomb. But this is an insult. This tomb was made for a pharaoh. Whoever did this has defiled this place. Rujek's arrow. I marked his name off my list with this. Now it sits on the ground, forgotten. Rujek's mask. I barely remember what happened after I stabbed him. This room has told me all I need to know. This place was a beginning for me, and an end for Rujek. The arrow marked both of those things. After I stabbed that bastard, things went dark. When I came back to myself, Rujek was dead. Rujek's body should have been left to rot. He has been laid to rest with respect by someone who wanted him to enter the Duat prepared. Whoever buried him, also left this heron mummy to honor Rudjek with his god's damned namesake in the afterlife. They then returned here to pay respect to Rudjek, if these candles are any indication. No matter what, I know Rudjek's heart was found lacking. That bastard suffers in the afterlife, no matter what was done here. I will be judged one day, but I do not regret my actions. The feather will always be lighter than my heart. You are either very brave or very foolish, setting foot back here. Nefertari, isn't it? Like a thousand blessings are long overdue. Bastard! Naked ear that! That was Rujek's wife. Did you expect anything less? This way, Bayek. And bring along your thousand blessings. You will need them.
I feel bad for her. But it had to be done. You look well. Better than the last time I found you. Are you just better at killing now? Rudjek was only the beginning. Yes, your hunt. The heron. Where are you taking me? To make amends with Anubis. Amends? I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course. How could you? You left the moment you woke. You know, all the natron for Egypt is collected here. We send it mostly to Memphis to cover the bodies of the dead. Look at me. No, you're unwell. <coughs> Netron has other uses, though. I could use it to disinfect a wound. Or wash the stains of blood off my hands, for example. It looks better, Neb. I will have one of my aides bring something for the pain. And my brother? Recovering. He needs rest. You do not need to remind me. Why are so many of your people ailing? Because Anubis is displeased. Ever since you left, the torches by his shrines have lost their flame. We are no longer protected. From what? The wrath of Anubis? Whatever it is, we have suffered grave injuries trying to reignite them. Some have even vanished. It has become clear that Anubis demands your appeal and yours alone. Near, near. Ah, B. I'll ignite the torches and end this curse, or omen, or whatever it is. You would do well to, if you ever hope to appease Anubis and gain my pardon. Sophia, give some frankincense to the men at the pool, would you? I don't need to tell you to be careful. There are three shrines, one to the south, one atop the natural well, and one inside the bent pyramid. You know your way to that one. One of the torches of Anubis should be here. This torch has fallen over. Where's the head? This fence is broken. Was there a struggle? <laughs> the Votari was not exaggerating. This one died trying to light the torch. There is blood here. Someone fell or was pushed. <laughs> There's the torch head. It must have fallen from the ledge when the torch was tipped over.
jumps. This should do it. All I need to do now is light it. Gatekeeper of the Duat. I honor your name. A shrine. One of the torches must be here. There is blood on these linens. Someone hung these. Keeper of the Duat. I honor your name. That was no simple task. There are other forces at work here. Charms of Anubis. Someone has put these here, but why? The last torch. I should return to Nefertari. What news do you bring? The torches burn with a relentless flame. Then I pray Anubis will grant us pardon. There were charms left beside each one. Does that mean anything to you? Beside the torches? Most likely to ward off the omen. I will keep my eyes open. In the meantime, some rebels nearby need treatment. I normally make the trips, but I am needed here. Sufia has offered to go in my place, but only if you escort her. It will be done. Bayek, I hope this hunt of yours ends soon, before you cannot return from what you have become. Good to see you, Namrut. Nefertari sent reinforcements, I see. His name is Bayek, a dear friend of Nefertari's. I've asked him to come along and he graciously accepted. I suppose we all do. I hear you are in some trouble. I owe a favor to Nefertari. If it's as you say, follow me and stay close. We've got quite a journey ahead. The path to the mine was clear, but that doesn't mean it will be on the oh, way back. No. Be ready for anything. Whoa. You seem uneasy, Namrut. Why the hesitance? I don't like straying from the plan. These lands are teeming with dangers. Bandits, soldiers, the wild. It's why we make the trips at night. Helps avoid trouble. Where are you camped? In an abandoned fort to the west, our point of retreat. Retreat from what? An attack on a nearby encampment. There were more soldiers than we thought. Lost a lot of good men. How many wounded? Enough. That's why being close to the mine is so important. The healers work wonders. We are lucky Nefertari allows these deals. She has a pure heart, risks her neck. The mine belongs to the regime, after all. We should be out of harm's way once we cross that bridge. This is it. When we get inside, I will need your help to tend to the wounded while Sufia prepares the natron. I pray we have not lost more men. I will set up. Bayek, follow Namrut. He will show you what to do. These Cold. men... 
Move them to the rear I am by so the kilns. This way, we will line them up. It will be easier for Sufia. Your band is much smaller than I imagined. Small, but united. We fight for one another. I am merely one of them, spared by the gods this time. Their wounds are severe, but they'll live if Sufia is anything like Nefertari. You and Nefertari are old friends. Something like that. She saved my life after I killed Rujek. You are the one that killed Rujek, huh? I cannot believe it. By the gods! The brazier! The fire will alert the regime! Spread out! They have found us! Move in! Leave none alive! Arpels, spread your arrows! Kill the wounded at last! It is useless to fight! Sufia, she lit the brazier. Why would she draw the soldiers to us? I will go check on the others. Go do something about Back Su off! You are a murderer! Talk! The omens! It was you! Why? You check! I loved him! He promised me a better life! You took him from me! Now I see. You're Rujek's mistress! Well, your fucking lover killed my son! I feel nothing for you! You are meant to die! Ah! <laughs> what a shame. Such a pretty girl. There's no room for pretty in our war. Death drives us to do things we regret. She tricked us both. Your men? The pile of dead gets bigger. We will treat the survivors. No time to fetch another healer. Keep back! Are you the Philakitai? Yes. Try not to trample the scene. My job is hard enough as it is. Oh, my apologies. As a protector, I am attracted to such sins. A fellow protector? Ah, yes, I see your badge. You are a Magi. From the old kingdom? Wow. Forgive me. This gruesome business has us all on edge. Huh? This is the latest in a series of chilling ritual murders by uh, wadjet cultists. To be honest, I'm a little out of my depth. I may be of some use to you. I am not unfamiliar with murder sins. Perhaps you could help investigate. The cultists usually leave a message. I haven't figured it out yet. We could check the temple. You said there have been other murders. The cultists are murdering temple acolytes, public figures in Karanis. No one knows why. Anyone could be their next target. The Greeks are terrified. They're saying locals are involved and are calling for blood. The timing is... This is a lot of blood. Someone was bound and tortured here, in front of the statue. 
By the signs, they were cut up badly, then dragged outside. It must have been the poor acolyte. There was no one else here. Why did they do this? A Greek god where an Egyptian god once stood. This would make some in Egypt very angry. Someone has smeared the god with green paint. The head has also been covered. Wait. Something else is up there. Serapis' face is hidden and defaced with more green paint. A green mask of Wajet has been placed here. Wajet is goddess protector of Upper and Lower Egypt. Someone is making a clear statement. But how did they get up here carrying all of this? Amun. This is written in blood. It is still wet. The murderers are going to kill the high priest next. We have to find him. The Felakitai should know where he is. <laughs> Felakitai! I found the cultist message. They're going to kill your high priest next. The high priest? By Serapis, no. Karani's spirit will die if he does. We need to find him. Where is he? Think, Velakatai! His villa is nearby. I know of a spot overlooking it from a safe distance. This way. We can see the whole area from the temple wall. Your temple is the reason for this trouble. It is a bitterness for the locals. <laughs> That's absurd! It has increased industry and trade. Everyone has benefited. Your dead acolyte and high priest may not agree. Gods, the trouble I'll get if the High Priest lies dead. We must hurry. Whoever thinks they can make that... The bomb Going to sacrifice me. You are safe now. It is fortunate you are not at the temple. You would already be dead. Serapis, they would have butchered me. These Egyptians are prayerless demons and not men. It was an Egyptian who saved you, priest. Remember that when you pray and give thanks. We Medjai protect all, regardless of their class. I came as soon as the fighting began. I see I am too late. Thank you for your help, Magi. It certainly made my work here easier. You have interesting timing. What do you know of these bandits? Egyptians unhappy with the Greeks here. Who knows what holes they crawl from. Seeing a Greek god in place of their own incensed them, no doubt. Understandably. You have not seen the last of such trouble, I think. The Ptolemies tend to divide us at times. Sadly, I agree. Greece has brought Egypt much wealth, yet some resist all progress. This depends on your idea of progress. Progress for Egypt or for Greece. Farewell, Felakitai. Next time you protect, remember my cord. I saw you with the Falakitai of Karanis. Are you a protector? I am. Is there something wrong? Please, we need your help. Yesterday, my husband witnessed something frightening. Soldiers dragged a poor man beneath the temple. Then he heard screams. We're already hungry because there's no grain. Now I'm terrified the soldiers will take my husband. We don't know who we can trust. Not even the Falakitai. 
Let me talk to your husband. Where can I find him? He's a stone mason working near the temple. Please be careful. The soldiers mustn't see you talk to him. Don't miss son. Your wife has been to see me. Shh! How did you get up here? By a moon, that woman interferes. I told her. What can we do? Just act normal. Yeah, that's it. Stay normal. Calm yourself. She said you saw soldiers take someone below the temple. Yes. No! Yes. Okay, it's true. It wasn't the first time, but yesterday was different. There were screams that would wake the gods themselves! So many screams! Now please, just leave me alone before someone sees you. Just act normal. <laughs> ah, some people just should not whistle. Hey now! Death for you! Then this looks like the place the stonemason told me about. Done here. Someone called the butcher is strong arming farmers. I need to find him. I should follow this trail of loot. A bathing sobek. Bathing must be in water. A sobek in water. Hmm. There's a sobek ruin not far from here. The butcher's loot could be nearby. Those are guards. This must be the place. The bathing Sobek should be close. There is an engraving on the chest depicting Soknobayo. That is a village west of here. The coins are in bags normally used to store grain. Did this come from a storehouse? He's a idiot. <laughs> that is a lot of guards for a simple storehouse. will be nearby. What are these goons hiding? I hear they took his arm at the butcher's order. Taken straight from the tables of Fayum families. Damn this greedy neck. Ah, this is it. The butcher is in the villa nearby. It is time this butcher and I had a talk. Ah. 
Here's the Vlaka who's been messing with my business. We were just discussing you. You've been stealing grain from Fayum, starving people for profit. You're not from Fayum, are you? Your speech reeks of the countryside. That grain belongs on Egyptian tables. You naive backwater Malakia. I take orders from above. If not me, someone else will do this. This is business. People pay what they owe, or I take it. It's not personal. I'll give you a choice now. Leave me alone and live, or die here. Others thought the way that you do. Then they murdered my son. Everything is personal. You filthy Nekatiadet! It ends here. Guards, take care of this. May the hidden one greet you. The Lord of the Duat awaits.